My name is Rhapsody, and welcome back to Slay the Spire. Alright, what'd I do? Silent last time? Defect last time in the daily. I think I did silent before that. Alright, so we've still got the new content that we want to see. It's all of the new colorless cards and a bunch of the new relics. Ooh, baby. I haven't done, like, a purposefully cursed run in a while. I'm considering the possibility. Alright, let's do it. Injury, not a bad curse. Well, at least it's not the worst one. Um, here I'm probably best served by just defending myself from all damage and breaking both of those curl ups. So what exactly does a purposefully cursed run do? Well, that's an excellent question. I'm going to be looking for Duvu Doll. I'm going to be looking for just a bunch of extraordinarily niche relics that will turn my curses into good things for me, including extra strength. Essence of steel through... Oh, gosh. You can't do that to me, right? 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 Do I take perfected strike? I tried to do it last run, and it just got dumped on by the champ. All right. I mean, it's the first thing I was offered. Hell yeah, another curse. All right. Blood Vile at the start of each combat. Heal for 2 HP, and we're healing for 6 at the end of each combat. Ooh, another relic. It's the Singing Bowl! Hello, old friend. When I didn't cast your deck, you may instead gain 2 max HP. That is going to be ridiculously powerful for us over the course of this run. Now, Discovery was actually really fun to play with, so I do want to take Discovery, but I want to save some money because we've got a shop in not too many spaces. And if we found the Duvu doll there and did not have enough money to buy it, I would be so heartbroken. Bottled Lightning, upon pickup, choose a skill card at the start of each combat. That card will be in your opening hand. Let's do that for Discovery. All right, Discovery, show me some good. That's not going to do it. Dark Embrace is actually going to be really reasonable. I'm not going to say really good, but it'll be reasonable. Because any of the dazed when they exhaust, will just draw me a bunch of new cards for my next hand. Do need to get some damage in somewhere, though. Another perfect strike on the back line seems the play here. <clears throat> no days in that hand, though, so... Yeah, I was worried we were going to have a hand coming up with just days, but this one has exactly the right layout. As you can see, we've already got extra cards in this hand to prepare ourselves. Right? Not supposed to be using the hotkeys. Oh, no. Regret's going to be a problem here gonna be a hand that is kind of by necessity full oh no all right two strikes in the back line and one for the four all right this could have gone worse i mean like scarcely but it could have The Dark Embrace did turn out to be handy. Ice Cream energy is now conserved between turns, as well as a bunch of cards I don't really want. Come on. I want curses. I can't play Clash, damn it. Uh, do I do any self-damage in this deck so far? <laughs> no. Uh, yeah, I probably shouldn't be taking any of these then. I could take Battle Trance. I haven't got any card draw, and I'm unlikely to pick up any card draw. Is that true? Yes, and yes. Okay. Do I have a shop in the near future? Oh, I do, though. All right. <clears throat> We're going to pass that because we've got another shop in the near future, and it could have our Duvu doll. We'll upgrade the discovery here so that it doesn't exhaust, so that we can just keep cheating cards out. Uh, pair upon pickup, raise your max HP by 10. Since Discovery allows me to choose, I can oftentimes choose something that is going to exhaust. Or a power that just gets to be put in play and will not shuffle itself back into our deck. So it mitigates a lot of the problems of 
the negatives of generating cards into your deck. Oh, that's another perfected strike. Oh, gosh. Can I get a Dubu doll, please? It's all I want. I'm actually really tempted to try and Dolly's Mirror my Discovery and just make this a Discovery deck. Yeah. I've done other things before. Let's do this. I'm not even going to remove the curses. Rook Bash. I can't remove the defends either right now because I'm kind of reliant on them. Okay. Double tap and spot weakness are both pretty powerful. Double tap is probably more powerful. Save some energy for three turns long. Oh, we could open the fight right now. Yeah, we kind of have to. It's the biggest hit we're going to be able to open the fight on, especially because we don't have any vulnerability in our deck anymore. Okay, Discovery gives us... If only we can use the drop kick. Uh, I'll take True Grit, because I'll just play that at the end of the hand. I mean... This has all gone surprisingly well thus far. <laughs> Runic Dedicahedron, if your HP is full, gain energy at the start of each turn, as well as just a bunch of stuff. Just a lot of things. I don't want any of them. Sever Soul would be a nice way to get the curses out of my deck. But we'll find something else. Okay. The one negative is that this regret is going to make it difficult for me to have max HP at many different times for the Runic Dedecahedron's sake. But if I keep these curses in my deck, I believe that the game will allow them to pay off. Alright, I'm going to go a step deeper and take an Infernal Blade that, yeah, hey, gave me a bludgeon because of course it did. Why wouldn't it? <laughs> I, like, a thousand percent don't deserve it, mind. I'm just glad to be playing with a new card. Oh, let's do some more discovery. It's another bludgeon. Of course it is. <laughs> oh, boy. All right. So I know I've got two bludgeons in my deck. So all I need to do is get the sentry below 32 HP. Eh, that works too. Gambling chip at the start of each combat. Discard as many cards as you'd like and then draw that many as well as the fairy. Uh, in a bottle. If you would die, heal to 10% of your max HP instead and discard this potion. Juggernaut. No. Even though it's been buffed, it does 5 on its base level now and then 6 on its upgrade. If it was 5 on both levels and it became 1 cost on its upgrade, maybe. And even then, maybe. I'll take the wild strike there to upgrade my... Other strikes. That is to say, the perfect ones. Let's throw those. Two discovery and a perfected strike. Berserker is going to be good here. Corruption is also going to be handy. So that was a really, really, really lame opening turn. But it's all just set up. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. We're going to get a really good hand here, and it's going to allow us to dunk on the enemy. Discovery gives us... Oh, gosh. Nope. We have trouble, boss. Apparently, that's the best we could do for the split. Discovery bludgeon. Yes. Will allow me to just dunk one of you out of existence. I could have taken feed there as well and gotten a reasonable result out of that. We've got so much energy left over. Oh, Berserk, you're too good to me. <clears throat> so what would I take after this boss in terms of rare card? Obviously offering. Double tap I would also consider. Oh, there's double tap. I'll take it. Snack oil. I actually don't really want you. 
even though it draws three cards now it does make you confused for the rest and we only have like two cards that would sometimes benefit from that not down um unfortunately discovery generates another card and double tap especially generates quote unquote another card twice so velvet choker is really really limiting for us gonna have to take the philo stone we are living on the edge we are gonna be taking a lot of damage here that we don't really want to be taking Okay, there's a three elite path with a very early and a very late shop. I'm into it. Let's go for it. Yeah, I gotta remember. Got my mulligan first. Flame barrier is probably more important here. Play everything out of my hand there just to make regret deal less damage to me. I'll take ghostly armor. Just to try and defend myself as best I can. Double tap for the perfected strike. Hell yeah. Speed potion. Not really going to do a thing for us. Twin strike is a strike card. Alright. What are we looking for with discovery? Well, I can tell you it's none of those. So you're going to deal 15 damage to me, but you're going to deal, what, 5 by 20 damage to yourself? So I'm actually probably best served putting someone else on the ground or you know, just murdering them. Because now you're super easy to kill. That said, I have to put someone else on the ground. Please be. Oh, that's not going to do anything. Which means I'm not going to be able to kill the bird in the front line, and I do take 15 damage. Damn it. Well, that is the worst fight after you do get the Philo Stone. And of course, naturally, we had to get it. Hmm. And second win for some defense. All right, Discovery, biggest hit I can get. We'll double tap the uppercut. Still, we're getting a lot of enemies that multi-attack at the very start of this floor, which isn't great. It's not really showing off the Philo Stone's benefits. Just the downsides. Take none of those. The Bag of Marbles is pretty good. Some vulnerability in the early turn. We could also take Thunderclap. There's another way to apply vulnerability. I do like that. Swift Strike is, by the way, a strike card. And in my last Perfected Strike build, I apparently turned down many different Swift Strikes. So that's my bad. I just... I straight up don't even look at the colorless section when I'm looking for strike cards. Although I should be. <clears throat> Discovery gives me yikes. Well, double tap the searing blow there. Finally get that bird on the ground. Yeah, this fight's not going great. Starting to feel a lot worse about the decisions we made in that store. And in fact, all past stores. Another double tap is probably too many. Just right now. Right. Let's upgrade the other perfected strike. Next up is the double tap. Probably going to use the strength potion in this fight. <sighs> Disarm is going to be really good. Disarm has effectively only debuffed the enemy to their initial state before the Philo Stone. Evolve is going to be good in this fight in terms of making sure that we still can draw cards despite the fact that our whole deck is now wounds. Alright. 
So we only had to trade most of our HP here. Not bad, not bad. Well, <clears throat> this wasn't a fun hand. Thankfully, we did get the second win to just completely negate it. Double tapping the feed wouldn't have been enough for the kill. Molten Egg, whenever you add an attack card to your deck, it is upgraded. Nice. Take none of those. Looking for strike cards, game. Looking for strike cards. I could take Inflame, though. And Bloodletting here. Now, the big reason I took Bloodletting there is just so that I can target... Oh, never mind. It's going to work anyway. Whoops. Easy. And what's that? 44. You have a feeling that's not going to be enough, friend. It'll be enough to hit me once. It just won't be enough to stick around for long. Another perfected strike comes pre-upgraded. I mean, because of course it does. Ornamental fan. Every time you play three attacks in single turn, gain four block. It's the automaton is the final fight. So we're a little safer than otherwise. We might be. I think I just, here in the early turn, perfected strike, perfected strike. I don't think I actually have the time to use those discoveries there. I got the perfected strike that early. I shouldn't really look at Gift Horse in the mouth on that one. Incense Burner is nice, as well as an upgraded Twin Strike. Nice, nice, nice. Keep the double tap, though. Possibility of generating something that it's ridiculous with is pretty good. I mean, we may not have done that here, but we've got vulnerability on the enemies for days. And that's not half bad. All right. Liquid bronze. Probably better than an Dex Potion for us. None of those, though. I'm tempted to take an extra curse here because I'm trying to collect curses just to make this interesting rather than making it just another perfected strike run. That's a lot of HP to lose. I'm going to take the curse. Okay... Oh, man. It's got to be bloodletting here, unfortunately. Because one of you has to die to that, and then one of you has to die to two strikes. Yikes. Perfect turn for Incense Burner to have come up, by the way. Insane how much damage that probably negated for us. Potion Belt upon pickup, gain two potion slots. Whirlwind in a deck that already has double tap and a lot of energy. Yeah, I mean, it's a natural fit. Offering as well as Perfected Strike. I can take both of them. Come on. I mean, come on, right? The game is just trying to award it to me at this point. Uh, we need to upgrade the double tap. That's super important to do now that we have the Offering... Hang on. Skill Potion gives us Ghostly Armor. I guess I just play that. I want to use Discovery here, but I realize at the same time, it's just Perfected Strike. This is Perfected Strike. This whole floor is just, just Perfected Strike. That's all you need to do. Okay. So part of the reason of what I've just done in using the Intimidate there, despite the fact that it didn't stop anyone from doing anything they were about to do. Effectively, what I was trying to do was start working away the artifacting on the Bronze Automaton so I can try and get weakness on them at some point. Mm -hmm. Double tap, perfected strike. Yeah. 
Now, I do have one saving grace. In terms of preventing this attack in particular from killing me. And that's we've got the fairy in a bottle. It looks like that will be necessary as well. Nope. Never mind. Good thing we didn't get the champ. Energy potion as well as immolate impervious and brutality. I could take a single copy of immolate as a nice AoE. We do have a single whirlwind. We'll take an upgraded immolate. Like, Empty Cage, I could remove the curses from my deck, but the whole thing I'm trying to do here is build curses in my deck. Damn it. You know what? I'm going to take the Lizard Tail. Give me the Doofu Doll. Right. I see a two elite path right now? Yikes. Is that maximal? Hell, it is. That's not good. Well, I mean, this is obvious, right? Oh, God, I didn't know I had an extra energy. Yeah. It's got a lot more damage in that fight than I needed to. Thankfully, I'll heal for 2 HP when I go into the next fight, so I will have my Runic Dedekahedron active in the first turn. Thankfully, Duvu Doll does not appear here. Otherwise, I would be real mad about it. I will save my money for later, though, because I'm an optimist, apparently. I know, it's news to me, too. Offering's really good. Age is really good. I mean, Carnage also would have been really, really good, but uh, not necessary. Upgraded Perfected Strike. Yeah. Lose and defend. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Remarkably. Kunai, every time you play three attacks in a single turn, gain a dex. Yeah, I don't know how often I'm going to be doing that. Oh, every turn? Huh. I'll be. Right, twin strike perfected. Defend. We'll trigger it that out. I'll just hold. Yeah, I was worried exactly this would happen. We got a ridiculously good hand, but the enemy is intangible. Like, that would have killed them so many times over there. Ugh. Right, let's do the draw. Gain some energy. I will kill you with this feed. I will feast on your bones. No need for any of those. These curses are my friends. See how they glisten. See this one shine, how he smiles in the light. I... Double tap on the back line? Alright, fine. I'll do this. Just to make sure that I get them down. And another one. Couldn't have Immolate in the opening hand there. Jeez. I haven't done a Searing Blow in a really long while. Very much like to get back to one of those and do one of those. Thunderclap. I should keep the two discoveries. Limit was there. I'm going to take the Limit Break because it has higher potential based on what else we ended up getting. Unfortunately, we didn't end up getting anything with which it synergized. That was, however, to be expected. Hmm. Not a fan of that previous turn. All right, Art of War. If you don't play any attacks during your time, gain an extra energy next turn and another perfected strike because, of course. Lantern, gain energy on the first turn of each combat. Oh, gosh. Shuriken, there we go. Every time you play three attacks in a single turn, gain one strength. 
So the game seems to have picked up the idea that I am trying to attack multiple times, but it still does not appear to have picked up the idea that I am uh, very much trying to gain curses in this deck. This deck is also thick enough to not really care about the curses. We'll take the bag of preparation at the start of each combat, draw two additional cards. I was considering the possibility of whether or not I would be able to take both steroid potions afterwards, but I think I'll be only able to take a single one. <laughs> um, Upgrade all cards you can no longer heal. So many useless cards are upgraded by, by that. We'll go for the boss from Act 1. This also boost our score at the end of the run. Uh, yeah, I, I think this hand is going to be enough. Call me old-fashioned. <laughs> but in my day, 289 damage was enough to kill in the first turn. Take a pommel strike. It's just another strike card. All right, Transient. Let's see. I don't even have any multiplicative elements in this entire GD run. Let's see if I can kill you on turn five. So that's 306 damage on turn one. This is my worry, right? Immediately after that, the amount of damage that we deal goes significantly downwards. For <laughs> the perfected strike, good lord. Now we got you to half HP. I really don't think we have a chance past this point, but you know me. Gotta try. I mean, with a couple more offerings in the deck, I could totally see it happening. We're done at this point, but it was close. Battle Trance? Um... Yeah, I could take an upgraded Battle Trance in this deck. It'll help with some of those mid-turns where we don't actually get any draw. That's not what I intended to do, but that's okay. Let's double tap the Thunderclap. And the Whirlwind. The general idea there was just to get the vulnerability applied. Easy. So that my following turns would be super easy like that. Another <laughs> perfected strike, of course. Of course. At this rate, why not? Uh, we should smith the offering. We're looking for like a really big turn where we just burst down one of them. I'm actually going to throw the discovery here. I think I just need to rely on my overall strategy. Good whirlwind for 13 by 6. 13 by 6 is 60 plus uh, 18 is 78. Damage to all the both of them, but that's not that's not you know, impressive. Mm hmm There's our three attacks. Start the regen potion next turn. And again, there's go. There's go. There goes Donu, rather. <sighs> Double tap, thunderclap, and strike. Well, it's definitely not the best move I've ever had. It's far from the worst, though. There's an offering even before a battle trance. Hell yes. Discovery gets us... <laughs> A heavy blade, which I guess will be useful this turn. <laughs> so close to the kill. And we're going to have to finish it with a perfected strike because it wouldn't make sense otherwise. There we go. The culmination of what I was trying to do a couple episodes with the Ironclad. Mixed in with a little bit more risk-taking in terms of picking up curses, even though it didn't really pay off for us. Grumble, grumble, grumble. And a perfected strike build that actually worked out. Oh, and the discoveries as well to try and use some new cards. I'm just trying to do some new stuff and kind of ground it around stuff that I've done before. 
so that it can be new and successful. For the moment, though, my name is Mr. Rhapsody. The name of the game has been Slay the Spire. Hopefully, you've been enjoying yourselves. There's a playlist in the description down below with all my content on the game, past, present, and future. And hopefully, we'll see you next time.